All right, welcome again. It's time to create our delete function. So we are going to create a function to delete our particular listing. So again, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this content. We want to reach 1,000 subscribers. So please help us by doing so. And please just, if you like this video, just give it a like and then consider sharing this content so let us get started so let us define a function and let us call it delete and then we should pass a request here and then because we are going to delete we need to delete a specific listing so we need to pass an id because we are going to delete from our database we need to query from our database so let's define a variable and then call it listing so equals to our listing model so it's listing model and then dot objects and then we need to get this particular id so remember id equals to id yes and then after getting this particular id we just need to list to write listing dot delete okay it's just simple listing dot delete it's just like the form dot save so this is listing dot delete and then after deleting we need to return a redirect so it should be redirected to our should be redirected to our listing page okay so our listing page is the home page you need to be redirected here okay let's see if everything is working fine let us save this after saving the server is still learning but as you know that you, that we need to have uh we need to have a particular URL which can be reflected to our particular deleting function. Now we need to define a URL. So we need to go to our URLs.py. So go to URLs. So just down here we need to copy this. And then control C we need to paste it here then instead of update we need to put to put here delete and then remember we need to delete a particular id so our view here is not update is delete delete and then the name should be delete also okay now let us save this okay so after saving our server is learning correctly remember we don't need to have a template here like this one for listing create and update so for delete you know don't need to have a template so let us try to go to our browser and delete some listings okay let us be here and then let's say you want to delete this listing with id number one so we go to our browser then slash delete and then we want to delete the id remember the id is do you want and if we click enter the particular listing is gone now if we go back to our listing here and then we don't see the Hyundai Santa Fe to our listing. So this is simple and this is how you can delete your listing from our browser. So we just need to make some few modifications that we need to have the delete button to our templates so that we can it can be easy for us to delete. So let's make some adjustments. Okay, we are going to make some few modifications to our templates so that we can see the delete and update button. And also we should see the button to add a new listing. So let's start by our going to our VS code here. 
then just go to your templates and then go to listings.html so this is our template where we are we, we are listing all our listings so by default we are listing the listing by title so as you can see to our browser here we have the titles of our particular listing now it's time to make some modifications so for here let us let us put a, a button here to for creating a new listing so let's put a, an anchor here so href let's say equals to it should be let's just put it should be remember our create url is slash create and then we should end this and then let us add here say add new listing okay and then let us close this okay good let us save this and then let us go to our browser and see if we have the button here okay good now we have here add a new listing so if we click here we have the form to fill if we are going to create a new listing so let us try to create here let us create the let's call this car like i don't know the name of which good car let's say it's harrier it's harrier and then let us the description let's say brand brand new okay let's say the brand it should be toyota okay and the mileage let us say let us give it like 10 and then the price be like 2000 and let us submit if we submit we have the toyota harrier here now let's go back again to our code and let's make some few modification to our uh to our listing so this is our listing now let's go to listing.html so we know this particular listing here we need of course we are going to we need to have so if someone clicks this button so if someone clicks the link should be should be directed here to our listing view then here should be a button to update or a button to delete so we are going to make some few modifications let us just delete this and then let us let us just create a paragraph here so i don't know the paragraph so forgive my html so it should be a p here ending p okay i don't know it's like this so we should create a paragraph here and then let us say that we should say the name and then we should say that we need to have we need to have of course here we need to have the listing dot title listing dot title uh of course let's see it was title or it was name from our models it was name yes of course it's not title it's name so listing dot name and then we need to have the the price of course and then we need to have of course we need to have the listing listing dot price and then 
of course we can just end it here maybe we can add the listing dot description but let us just end here and then down here let us have a link to update and delete our or to update and delete this listing so let's have an a here anchor so href here and then say equals to let's say now we want to create a delete button so we know our url it is slash delete and then what we are going to delete it should be of course we are going to delete but we are going to delete a particular id so we need to pass an id here for what we are going to delete now we need to have the resting dot particular id so we are going to delete but this delete is going to delete a particular id now the button here should be delete and then we should close this okay good now let us add the button for updating also just copy this and paste it here instead of delete we are going to update remember our url and then you update a particular listing dot id and then instead of delete here we are going to update okay now it is good okay let us save this so if we save this if you go to our browser here refresh this and then if we go to let's say to particular car here then you are going to have here is our listing the name and the price and then we, we have the delete and we have the update button here okay of course forgive my html skills so let's say let's put like a break here let's break here okay and the price also we need like some spacing here if we save this and let us refresh it here okay at least good okay yeah it's good at least okay now we have made our modifications looks like everything is good we can update we can delete and if everything is good as you can see now we are able to create our listing we are able to update our listing we are able also to delete also we are able to view our particular listing so this is how you can do it so next we are going to talk how we can deal with images so as you remember on our discussions i said we are going to leave out the image so we are going to talk about how we can integrate the image to our particular listing so it's time to go there so i'm just reminding you again so if you are new here please consider subscribing and sharing this content also liking this content so hope to see you on the image section